The Odd Couple is a beloved American sitcom that captured the hearts of millions with its hilarious portrayal of two polar opposite roommates trying to navigate through life together. At the heart of the show was the dynamic duo of Felix Unger, the uptight and meticulous neat freak, and Oscar Madison, the carefree and messy sportswriter. But behind the scenes, there was one man who brought Felix Unger to life and gave the character his unique quirks and idiosyncrasies, Tony Randall. The hidden life of Tony Randall Felix Unger takes us on a journey behind the camera and delves into the fascinating life of the actor who brought the iconic character to life. From his early years in New York City to his rise to fame in Hollywood, this documentary reveals the man behind the persona and explores how his own life experiences influenced the character he portrayed on screen. Through interviews with family, friends, and colleagues, we discover the hidden depths of Tony Randall and gain a new appreciation for the unforgettable character he created in Felix Unger. Tony Randall came into this world on a chilly day in Tulsa, Oklahoma, on February 26, 1920. He was the son of Mogsha Rosenberg and Julia Finston, and his father was an art and antiques dealer. From a young age, Tony showed a keen interest in theater and the performing arts. One day, when he was a child, he watched a touring ballet troupe, and it sparked his imagination. Tony's teachers were less than thrilled with his habit of mimicry, but it was a skill that he would later put to good use as an actor. Tony attended Tulsa Central High School, where he continued to hone his acting skills. He was a dedicated student, but his passion for theater often got him in trouble. His teachers frequently complained to his parents about his penchant for impersonations and his disruptive behavior. After completing high school, Tony enrolled at Northwestern University, where he studied speech and drama for a year. However, he felt that he needed more intensive training, so he moved to New York City to attend the Neighborhood Playhouse School of the Theater. There, he studied under the tutelage of famed acting teachers such as Sanford Meissner and Martha Graham. Tony worked tirelessly to perfect his craft, dedicating himself to the art of acting with an unwavering passion and commitment. As a young man, Tony Randall had a hunger for success in the world of entertainment. He worked tirelessly to achieve his goals, taking on various jobs and roles to get his foot in the door. At one point, Tony even adopted the name Anthony Randall and worked as an announcer for the radio station WTAG in Worcester, Massachusetts. He also took on a few stage roles, including in the plays Candida and Corn as Green, before enlisting in the Army during World War II. Tony served in the U.S. Signal Corps for four years, putting his skills to work for his country. After completing his service, he returned to his love of acting, working at Montgomery County's Olney Theater for a time before moving back to New York City to pursue his dreams further. It was in 1941 that Tony made his Broadway debut in the play A Circle of Chalk, marking a significant moment in his career. He continued to work tirelessly in the theater, taking on various roles in both minor and major productions. One of Tony's most significant early roles was in the long-running radio series One Love a Mystery, showcasing his skills and versatility as an actor. His dedication to his craft and his passion for the performing arts drove him forward, pushing him to always strive for more. Throughout the early 1950s, Tony Randall worked tirelessly to establish himself as a successful actor, taking on supporting roles in Broadway and on television. One of his most successful theater roles came in 1955, when he appeared in Inherit the Wind. His portrayal of newspaperman E.K. Hornbeck was inspired by real-life cynic H.L. Mencken, and it showcased his range and versatility as an actor. In 1958, Tony landed a leading role in the musical play O, oh, Captain. Although the play didn't achieve much success, he was still nominated for a Tony Award for his dance with ballerina Alexandra Danilova. Tony also made a name for himself in the film industry, appearing in movies such as Pillow Talk in 1959, Lover Come Back to Me in 1961, and Send Me No Flowers in 1964. He continued to work on stage and screen simultaneously, showcasing his talents in various genres. In 1957, 
Tony played the role of an alcoholic in the show No Down Payment, demonstrating his versatility as an actor. He pushed his limits even further in 1964's The Seven Faces of Dr. Lau, where he played all seven characters, showcasing his incredible range and acting prowess. In the 1970s and 1980s, Randall's career in television began to take off. He started with a major role as Harvey Westcott, a history teacher, in the show Mr. Peepers from 1952 to 1955. He then appeared in various other television shows, such as the National Broadcasting Company's special The Secret of Freedom in 1959 and an episode of The Alfred Hitchcock Hour in 1961, where he played the role of an alcoholic husband. Randall's big break came in 1970 when he starred as Felix Unger opposite Jack Klugman in the hit television series The Odd Couple. The show was incredibly popular and even led to the actors recording an album together called The Odd Couple Sings for London Records, which became a fan favorite. Randall's success in The Odd Couple paved the way for his own show, The Tony Randall Show, which aired from 1976 to 78. In this show, he played the role of a Philadelphia judge. After his success on the television series The Odd Couple, Tony Randall continued to make a mark on the small screen with his portrayal of Sidney Shore in the 1981 show Love, Sidney. This time he was cast as a supposed gay character, breaking barriers in mainstream television. However, Randall eventually decided to take a break from television and focus on his Broadway career. In 1987, he even hosted the free preview of Home Box Office's Premium Channel Festival for two months. But Randall's love for his iconic role as Felix Unger brought him back to television screens in 1993. Alongside Jack Klugman, the duo reunited for the Columbia Broadcasting System television movie The Odd Couple. Together again, bringing back the beloved characters and their hilarious dynamic for audiences to enjoy once again. Tony Randall, the versatile actor known for his work in theater, television, and film, founded the National Actors Theater in 1991. He not only founded it but also acted in most of its plays, including Three Men on a Horse in 1993, A Christmas Carol and the Inspector General in 1994, and Luigi Pirandello's Right You Are in 2003, which turned out to be his final theater performance. Throughout his life, Randall was married two times and had two children, Julia and Jefferson. Sadly, on May 17, 2004, Tony Randall passed away in his sleep at the age of 84. He had undergone a coronary bypass surgery in December 2003 but contracted pneumonia, which ultimately cost his life. The world of acting lost a remarkable talent, but Tony Randall's legacy continues to inspire new generations of actors. He will always be remembered for his unparalleled contribution to the world of entertainment. New York says goodbye to Tony Randall, a true legend.